Hello and welcome back to Boring Dead Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Classified France 44. Um, it's two days till D-Day. It's going to take us three days to do this mission, so I'm not quite sure how that works, but I guess we shall see. <laughs> I guess, it, well, hang on. If I go back, can I use my FF token? To, I think it's taking this on because of these guys, but if I maybe use my FF token... We've tipped them over. So does that mean... Oh, I'm still saying two, three days. That's annoying. Okay. Well, we'll see how that works. Um, hopefully okay. It's not saying that we can't do it. So, you know, it's a stealth mission. I'm looking forward to it. It says it's standard difficulty, which is interesting for our last one. Um, I'm interested to see if D-Day is still going to happen. If Well, in fact, I'm wondering. I'm wondering because... Well, I suppose... Yeah, okay, well, I still have... Okay, so I still have blue regions I can unlock. That was my worry. Because I think, um... There's actually quite a few blue regions I've not done. Ah, oh, we should have done this on resistance strength plus four. Hindsight. You know, this goes back to my top tips video. Plan out your campaign before you start. Like, I definitely... Like, after I'd done the hospital, had I kind of known the way this was going to go two days till D-Day, I definitely would have prioritised not only this resistance strength plus four region, but also this one. Um, there might even be another one. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, anyway, those are lessons for a potential next time. Uh, probably not again on the channel. Um, I don't like to sort of come back to games necessarily unless there's a very good reason to do so. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just worried about this D-Day thing. Now we're unlocking that. When when we unlock this, it should mean it should mean mind you, this three day reprisal thing. <coughs> I'm worried about that now. I really want to do the stealth mission mission because I really want to do a stealth mission. But I'm now thinking I think we need to have it done within two days. Cause I worried if these guy if I finish this mission and these guys knock out two more regions. D-Day is not going to be successful. So I think, contrary to what I said at the end of last episode, I think I have to take this one as a two-day mission, which means we'll effectively get two regions back, and I'm hoping that'll knock us somewhere within this hopefully successful D-Day band. I guess we'll see. Yeah, okay, well this is going to change our possibly our loadout a little bit. So as an ambush, we obviously do have stealth objectives. Uh, the rewards kind of by the by at this point. Word's been received that a prized German ship, a Marine Nachslub Leichter. Uh, there's a few German speakers, I think, in the comments, so <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher that too badly. MNL is in port. We need to infiltrate the dockyard and sink the vessel by any means necessary. So we'll definitely take... Uh, I, I think maybe... Well, the only difference is I might take Johnson. Because he's pretty good to have in an ambush situation. Maybe instead of Anson. Snipers are good, but when it all kicks off, having a having a heavy there is not a bad idea. And Kumba as well. For, for sort of the ambush section, these, these guys are going to be good. We're going to board the ship undetected. Eliminate Krieg's marine officers as well. Okay, so we're going to go out with the crew. I might have to redo Johnson, actually, because he wasn't one of the guys I spec'd out last time. So let's just have a quick look at him. Uh, make sure he's got the right gun. He probably has, because he's the only one that actually uses a heavy weapon. So this doesn't have AP. He's using this one at the moment. Oh. There's literally no reason not to use this. This must be something I've picked up more recently than I guess. Um, a bigger clip is good, because that, that worked well with his uh, Overwatch ability. not a lot of armor, there's not a lot of, um, there is some, but not a lot of armor pierce in his, in his stuff generally. This, I mean, this is quite a good gun, despite the fact it's like a, a white quality. And it can inflict exposed, not as much morale damage, which is kind of what we want it for. Okay. I'm going to go for this variant of what we've already got then. Um, let's go to his uniform. He's already got the digger hat, so that's probably okay. 
Uh, King's got that. Here, though, um, that's King. That's Tremble. Oh, wow. Okay, we're taking all the Brits out, which means it's got to go a little bit further, the gear. Extra health or extra dodge? I think probably extra health on him then. Oh, he's already got that. And legs wise, well, we've only got three pairs. Leave it to the Brits, eh? Kind of. The British, Canadian, and Australian. <laughs> um, technically all British Empire, apparently. Right, anyway, uh, Coomba's the only one who has any sort of debits, debuffs going on. A bit of morale and a little bit of AP, but otherwise we're looking all right. Um, fingers crossed, here we go. Oh, I would have really liked to have done that stealth mission, but I'm, I'm just worried that it would be a, a failed campaign if I was to do so. See the ship? Let's get these charges planted. Okay, so what do we got? We got our fourth takedown is going to be ambush time. This is the ship we've got to board. I mean, it's not that far away, is it? Get there undetected. There's our extraction. Uh, two Kriegs Marines. So we've got uh, it's only that guy, but not Maybe there's another one there? Uh, maybe they both count. Uh, so we've got this guy, obviously. So getting on the ship undetected is going to be interesting with these two here. I'm wondering if there's another way on. So there might be. This guy. Yeah, so he, we can take him out. He's going to probably come up to here-ish. Maybe here. So I think let's get Coomba up here. This guy's going to be right in our way, so we are going to take him out. No move, no enemy. Uh, enemy team. Great work. Hmm? Now we can get him a little further along. Uh, I probably will want to end up. Imagine that's cover. Maybe we'll come here. Ah, there is. There's another gangplank. Okay, so these these guys are just going to chill, it looks like. He looks like he's chilling as well. He's on patrol, but we might be able to evade him anyway, and he's just kind of standing there. So I think let's bring Coomba around here. Some more enemies up there. Yes? Uh, and now we just want to be aware of Macy here, who might well see people who are a little too exposed. And we might try and utilize the throne stone a little more. Not necessarily here, I don't think we need to right yet, but maybe when we get up trying to get around this guy. about him I'd like I'm gonna quick save because I really don't know if he's just gonna go there and just look up this way it's gonna or even over here it's gonna be absolutely fine um, there's not a lot of cover apart from like I, I'd like to try and use as much AP as possible I'm gonna come up here and if we get spotted I'll, I'll probably reload that how you going Holly Johnson let's move I don't like him coming up there, that's annoying. Heavies we can't take down. So we'll just have to work around them. I think I'll allow myself to take down one more silently, because then I can't... Well, it just says kill the Kriegsmarine. I don't think I need to do them silently, to be fair. Uh, but I'll probably try and... I'll probably try and take down this sniper. I'm a little worried about this heavy. Um, maybe he's going to go onto the ship and then back again. I mean, even Coomba can't, can't one-shot him. I mean, we could do him. I don't think it'll be necessary. I think we can work around that. Well, I, I mean, I say that. Yeah. 
just want to kind of position myself well for the following turn. All right, let's do this. Target. Oh, there's, there's a turny guy up there as well. Ooh, dear. Although, maybe coming in from this angle is the best one of all. Avoid this dude completely. We got this patrol, but I think he's... He, he was the one who went up there, wasn't he? So I, I mean, it'll depend kind of what his patrol circle's like. Maybe we can just evade some of these guys completely. Moving. Can I help? Mm, I don't want him to get too stuck behind because I mean, he's looking that way and he's not seeing this tile at all, so I think we'll be safe there. Moving. I just think if we're gonna try and get around these two. And I don't even need to kill the sniper, because we could we could get round behind there. This guy is gonna be a little bit of a concern, however. Alright, let's see what let's see what happens. If he's going to turn right back round, that'll be okay. No, he's still going. Hmm. Well, maybe we can hide anyway. Now, he's still off there, so we don't need to worry too much about getting everyone across in this one turn, and he's still going up here. So I think we'll just um, let's start with Kumba. Or maybe just push him up as, as high as here. I don't think there's anything else that should really worry him. Moving. I see one. Got some others. Look like we've got a stat. We'll probably have to take him down because he's kind of looking where we're going, and he's a turner. So it depends. We could we could get him to look away, and then maybe we'll move in with Tremblay and uh, Coomber on them. So that'll be two and three. And then maybe we'll get on the ship, then do a fourth. That's that's the plan. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I th yeah, I think we've just got to push up as as far as we can Moving on this out. turn because we should we should have another turn, but at least before these two guys turn around, and hopefully by then we'll be concealed. Moving out. Interesting mission. Yeah, definitely. I think coming in there is going to be the the best way to do it. Nice move. Probably going to turn around now, I guess. Yes. Expected. And same kind of for this guy as well. I mean, I guess we'll see. Yes, he's coming back. Okay. Is he turning back that way? He is. It depends whether he's doing like a 90 degree turn or whether he's doing a full 180. Um, you need me? How you now obviously, Coomba is going to be easy enough because we can kind of... right up to there, couldn't we? So, I'll move more. I'm probably most worried about Ollie Johnson, but I think if we can get him somewhere like there, I think we'll be alright. You need me? King can come on. Oh, maybe not. Moving. You there. I'm moving. Johnson, what could we? Okay, so if we get him there, and then I think he should be okay. Moving. That, okay, so he is. He does look like he's continuing to turn away from us, which is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? What? So, 
wonder if maybe we get him to here. Because he can, he can throw stones too, can't he? I think we kind of maybe need to coordinate takedowns of these two, so... Moving. Let's mostly concentrate on positioning Coomber and Tremblay for just for now. Oh god. <laughs> okay. What is it? Yeah? Tremblay, I kind of want you maybe in here? Moving out. Can I help? Can I help? Hey. King, I'm just gonna position Moving there. Good eye. Good eye. Nice move. Let's get Ollie Johnson in there. Now lots it, it lots gonna depend on this guy. I think probably even if he even if he's you know, what was his vision like? So he can see Kumba, but I could maybe throw a stone to draw them both that looking that way. And then we can take them both down. This guy can be weak spot. He can't. He has. Oh, oh. He can't. Huh. That suddenly puts a different complexion on things. Do we keep going round here? That's an interesting thought. We can't, we can't take this guy down. Which means we can't get on there undetected from this angle. I think maybe we've got to, I think maybe we've got to come in from this way? Uh, I can't see us getting around this guy now. We could make him look away, but... Yeah, okay. Okay, so slight change of plans then. Yes. Yes, I'm here. I'm moving. Let's move people up a little further. Huh? Hmm. Moving. We'll go we we'll, it shouldn't be a problem, we'll just we'll just get past here. You need me? How you and going? Even, it could look like Coomba's a moving. bit fenced in, but I think it'll be okay because I'll just uh Nice move a stone at the beginning of Kumba's turn or something. Right. Okay. This is no turn limit. <laughs> you know, there's no rush here. We ought, you know, we ought to take advantage of that fact. So he does look that way. I mean, we could take that guy down, but there's, there's no point if we're going to come up here anyway. Um, yeah. so I think Kumba's turn, I think we will throw a stone and get these guys both looking this way. Um, so now we're kind of more free to come up here and have a look at what's going on around here. Um, I think I'll take the slightly wider path initially, just so I can get some eyes on what's going on up there. See, here we've just got this guy, and we can distract him and take him down. So I think, contrary to what I was saying back here, this looks like being the good, the good path. My main worry is Ollie Johnson. But we'll just have to try and get him far enough away. I, don't, I think King should be all right here. Tremblay. We'll do this. Hmm, I'm slightly worried about this guy, though. I could go even wider with him. Maybe bring these guys maybe more around here. Like I said, there's no time limit, so we're not under time Can pressure, at least. Moving. And we'll leave it there for now. Okay, so we wouldn't have been seen there, but by a very small margin. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I was a bit more cautious. In a way. Yeah, good eye. What? Good eye. Okay, so I'm gonna get as close as possible to, as we can to this guy. Um, don't know if there's gonna be people up there. There might be. So why don't we let's start off by coming here? 
Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we got a turny boy. Uh, and that'll be okay. Whew. Close. Don't need to worry about him right now. I think my plan is going to be for, say, Kumba to move. Mm. Oh, it's really tricky. We'll see. Well, well, he's going to turn away. I'm thinking, let's throw a stone to distract and then come in to take down. I think is, is what I'm thinking at this moment. Good. I need to be slightly aware of the machine gunner that does patrol in here. I'm not sure what his where he is at the moment. Ooh, that's ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna save because, like I said, there are patrollers who could throw a complete spanner in this works. Okay, me. Where's Tremblay? What is it? You need me. That's him. If he comes here and throws... Well, maybe even here and throws a stone. Yes. Can Coom... Can Coom... Okay, can Coom be get him? He can. Again, we need to be slightly cautious on hey, that. Yeah. But I think that's what we're going to try at this stage. Moving out. Those are the Kriegsmarine. We can't see the heavy gunner yet, so that seems okay right now. Uh, let's just get this guy turned around. Can I help? All right, Coomba. And that should give us the secondary objective: getting on board un undetected. He's got... Okay, so where's this guy? So he is coming on, um, but we've got a bit of time to uh, sort of stash ourselves. So why don't we, why don't we come in there? Now, I can't remember if King uh, can do the silent uh, kind of demolition stuff. I'm assuming he can. I probably would have taken that on the support character. Maybe it's a scout thing. I can't actually remember. But I'd like Get to out. plant the charges if we can first silently before we start worrying about moving. Um, going loud, you know. Okay, that looks good. I suppose again we could use the stone trick to distract both of these and take them both down silently. I think that's probably what we'll do. Um, what's our path to this? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll maybe we'll try and come and plant that first. Uh, right. So let's get King up that end. He's a robber. Oh, couple of talking there. If we were to, yeah, okay, so confirm that Kumba is a noisy bomber. Um, so with him, I might just sort of position him for a takedown. <laughs> Tremblay is also noisy, but he could do this one quieter. I think I'm going to bring him I'm here for now. Holly, he's a noisy one. Um, nice move. OK, 
Okay, I think we'll leave it there for now. Oh, there's another one down there. It's going to make extraction interesting. It's kind of why I want the bombs laid down first. We can take out both these Kriegsmarine, and then we still won't have to go loud until we want to. Let's do a quick save. A quick, quick save. Um, okay, so Tom. Ah, oh, you're noisy as well. Is it just Vettel that can do it quietly? But it doesn't matter, because I don't think there's anyone else there who can hear it. Um, it's just Moving out. Charge is set! Bring him back a bit. When we... Yeah, I just think when we go loud, when... Is it... Is it possible for us to extract without going loud? I mean, it. we might be able to... Use the stone trick down here and, and just sneak out without even... Uh, without even going... Well, we, why don't we try it? I, I, you know, I haven't done it before. Just... Moving. Not going loud in a mission, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. Oh, it does say Kriegsmarine officers. Uh, that's why it's this guy, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm, I'm okay with not. Oh, I've just realised we can't take him down then. Hmm. We can turn him round, but then he'll just look back when we place the bomb. I don't suppose Ollie's got quiet. No, we checked, didn't we? Huh? What? The end of a silent bomber. Darn it. I didn't think about him being an officer. It does change things slightly. You need me? You okay, going? well I think Ollie will position here to put this bomb down Moving. as we do the other one. I'll probably wait a couple of turns for the machine gunner just to you know get a decent distance away. Tremblay will... Oh no, Gas King. Tremblay will move position here. I was thinking, do we try and take down another one? Like, we could maybe try and take down this guy. Quietly. Did I take down a second one? Can't. Oh, this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. So, yeah. okay, so we could do one not going loud, but then we'd have to go loud anyway. I'm going to guess it will help. We can get Coomba to maybe to completely break this guy anyway. So, all right, well, let's, um, let's leave it there. This little knot is going to be fun. No cover from the boat. <laughs> Who's got eyes on the boat still? Someone has. Who's, who can see that? Is it him? Oh, it is him as well. He doesn't turn. He's got fixed sight, fixed sight on that. I really want to run that goal. I wish I'd known I'd have taken him down when I was over there. We might have to go loud before we do this one then. It only takes one AP, it's not like it's the end of the world. King though, I'm just wondering if maybe we position you... ...be over here so you can get like a nice shotgun blast on these, these guys. Take down this guy silently. I think that could be yeah. worthwhile. Thinking about maybe moving Ollie Johnson down to this side as well. I'll probably take a couple more turns to set yeah. things up here. Because um, Ollie could uh, he could put an oak like if he was here he could put like an Overwatch on these guys and uh, I mean, he could get there. 
Overwatch and all three of these, and he could just keep firing, so... I think that's probably worth doing. And the scouts will just have to look after themselves a bit over here. Yeah, I think we take another turn to set this up. That, mach that machine gunner on patrol will still be moving away as well, so that's good. Oh crap. They're alerted. Give them one for. Frank, yeah, well, I think we'll reload because uh but we've just blown our uh our ambush, which isn't great. Okay, well we're back here, so it's kind of pre-moving Tom, so that, that helps. I think okay, instead. Oh, I didn't see that arrow. Um, okay, instead let's move him here, which will make all the difference. <laughs> and um, Ollie was fine when we put him as well, so... Yes, can I help? Can I help? Moving. I think he is. I don't think that guy can see that far. All right, well, we're about to find out. Okay, well, this isn't isn't particularly helpful. I'm here, Michael. Good eye. Um, but we could. Oh. Well, we just wait another turn, and then this guy turns away, so we'll just position Ollie there. Now, these two, I was just thinking. I think Kumba would probably be able to take both of these down. Let's just see. Um, you need me, huh? Yeah, I think what I would do is throw the stone. Come and get this guy. I'll probably put my um, crit, crit thing on as well. And then when I when he's killed, he'll gain six more AP and can take down the officer. And what that means is, I think if I'm, I probably want Tremblay to be, when it goes loud, just to be able to come in and slap this uh, demo charge down. I think that's. I think that's what we'll do. So it's, this should be the last turn where we're kind of setting up. And after this, it's, this is the turn we go loud, basically. The order is important. I think the first thing I do is try and get this guy down. Uh, which, oh, hello. Oh, you bugger. Maybe I'll take another turn. He's going to turn that way. They both are. And then maybe I can take him down. Moving out. Okay. I'll do that then. Yeah. Go on. Huh? It, oh. Moving. Makes me a bit nervous, but none of those are moving, so we'll be alright. Right, okay. Next next time we next time we move. I didn't move that's not turning round. Machine gunners coming back. I think we need to go now. Okay, he will see. <laughs> so I think what I need to do is for him to be the last ambush target. 
Okay, we're going to save because this is this could get a little bit hairy, but we're going to start off by distracting both of these. Now he can come in and take down this guy. Nothing to see here. Yes. Uh, I can't do anything with him until ambush. I think the only thing I can really do now is get King to take this guy down. And I think it should still count as a stealth kill. Uh, even though this guy's going to see. Fact. Okay, well, you know, that's alright because Good we've got. Eye. Good eye! The plan here is okay. Um, do another quick save. So, what I would like to do is maybe soften them up with a uh, grenade first, but not if it's gonna. End's turn. Yeah, it says end's turn. Okay, what else can we do? Shoot with 100% morale damage. Flick taunted on an enemy and all other enemy. Oh! Yeah, that is that could be good. That's three. Oh, I'm gonna put the taunt on. Okay. Uh, and now we're gonna put our Overwatch on these guys. I'm in I think they get a few I shots can't. on them. Start with the demo charge. Charge is set. Come back to him. Kumba at least has, still has his. Oh, I was gonna. Yeah, let's put this on Savage Strike. My blade demands a sacrifice. I'll move more. Before they get off Did break him at least. But he's the only one who can do anything now, and, uh, well. Yeah, dilly of a pickle. I was to throw my grenade, would it really do anything? Not a lot. Moving! Come in here. Because we can just head towards the uh, the exit now, but we're going to do all of these, obviously. They're pinned down! Flank them! Dead man walking! Firing! He suffered us! Enemy repéré. Flanken sichern. Augen offen halten. Stellung halten. Auf zu zittern und denk an deine Ausbildung. Formant! That's a close one. Ich kämpfe weiter. That's not too bad. We're doing quite well in this corner. I wonder if we just make an absolute sprint for the exit, to be honest. Moving out! Ich werde flankiert! Does his... Yeah, his grenades end turn as well. Okay. Um... He gets an extra turn, doesn't he, if he kills someone? I think we should do this. Wilco! I've got a bead on him! Ugh! He's gone for a burden! He's a right off! I'm low on He's ammo! He's right off! Yes! Enemy down! Oh! Knocked him for six! I'm out! I have to reload! Didn't get any AP back. Oh, yeah, I think even though he's got. Um, he's in, right in the middle of that. I think we've just run Coomba out. What's the plan? Yep. I don't think there's anything to be gained from uh, staying here. 
Moving out. The guy from my Have I not planted hand. a chart? Oh god, I've not planted a chart. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> I mean, at least it doesn't, uh, yeah, although they take a funny route, it doesn't mean they run out of AP. I don't know quite why the AI does that. What do you need? Well, I need you to place the demo charge. Charger set! We've got to wait for demolition. How many turns is that? Three, oh, is it three turns? Okay. Um, well. It's going to get shot at, but. I got suppressed. Oh no. Can he get out? He can't get out that way. Has anyone got any way to G him up again? Suppressing fire. What's the plan? What is it? Going to flank on. Well, this guy's broken. I don't need to worry too much about him. I wonder if we could just uh, buy Kungo with a little bit of cover. Move it! When the flank is off. Covering the area. These directions, maybe. All right, we'll give that a go. Reiß dich zusammen. Reiß dich zusammen. Dead man walking. Take it. Warren. Hilfe! Hilfe! Fire! Mary, mother of God! Dead man walking. Take it again. Warren. He shuffered us. He took that pill in the head. Nice shot. Danke dir. I'm dry. I've got to reload. Okay, we well, did a good job anyway, holding nothing. them back for a turn. Kontrolliere deinen Bereich. So sterbe ich nicht. Okay. Problem number one: getting Kumba out. <laughs> who's 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 got this Overwatch on? This guy. Oh, that was just something he put on. Oh crap. Oh well, we'll have to do with you that. You want me? Yes. Oh, this is so dicey. Um get him hit. I mean, he's gonna Yeah, I mean fine. Ah, uh, can't do a lot about. Can't, can't do a lot for him, really. Um, what do you need? Can confirm. Aiming. Uh, he's having the last bite. Oh, got yeah. one down. Yeah. He'd, uh, he should Coomba on that shot, unfortunately. Uh, how many? Is he? He's got three. Try and break the uh, the medic. Grenade! 
Handgranate! Stark bleiben! Weiter kämpfen! Reloading! As you can see one with 60% chance, I'm gonna take that. Roger! Taking the shot! Ah! Back the okay. fighter! Okay, well things might be looking slightly up. They could fire again. Wilco! I've got a bead on him! Right on the money! Last round! I need a refresh! You hit him hard! Have to sit down and think and announce Bridget! This doesn't look good for Kumba. But the ship's going to blow up at the end of this turn, <laughs> so he just needs to get off the ship. Um, I Enemy think that might be a struggle. I think he's going to be broken, but if he's just suppressed, maybe we can do it. Now he's broken. I don't think there's anything I can do to yep. turn him around. What do you want? Nothing I can do. Alright, so Kumba's down. Um, but I think the rest of us just need to hightail it Moving. to the exit. He's shooting at that guy. It's not very good. And again, I think we just, just get the others out. It's not going to be a great mission, to be honest, but at the same time, moving. It's the last mission, so Kumba Coom gave his life in service of the uh, resistance. At least all those have gone. Basically cleared out all the enemies. Thanks to Kumba's noble sacrifice. He's retreated. He's not dead. He's merely retreated. Right. Okay. What's well, the plan? Suppressed guy. Oh, one can yeah. get out, but then he can't. Just try and break line of sight from whatever the reinforcements are doing. Who? Me? Moving! These guys around here. You want me? Moving out! I'm being flanked! Stellung halten! What do you need? Ollie Johnson can get out. Moving! Yeah! Yeah, that's us done. Come on, Moving. let's go. D-Day, roaring success, hopefully. Out. We had some good hunting there. It'll be a questionable victory, I suspect. Oh, just the one for the wounds, it's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. That wasn't, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it was because that, uh, that Kriegsmarine was a, was an officer. It, it was it became London tricky. Broadcasts a poem by Paul Verlaine. We hear the last lines about the violins of the autumn song, and feel like we've been zip zapped by electricity. They're the code words we've waited for. The invasion is on. Hopefully, we did it. <laughs> Out there is an armada of ships and planes bringing men who count on us to keep the German 7th and 15th armies occupied until they're safe on French soil. Now is the time we get to work. All right, I don't know what happens now. D days and zero days, it says right there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what happens now. Great work. 
After that strike, the dockyard resistance cells are in London's good books. London was hit bad by a rocket. Uh, so we want to, I guess, fill, fill in this one. Oh, it's just in, and then London we get the one back, don't we? This rocket site before it launches. Hello? There's more. We repaired a, yeah, is that going to go up? Yeah, boy, look at that. Maybe this is, maybe you get one final mission. Let's have a look. Lethal ambush mission. We've identified a V2 launch site and expect a rocket to launch soon. The strike to take the rocket and site out a commission will delay the debut of these terror weapons. Okay. Now, I think that'll probably be the end of the game, and I th hopefully we're going to be a success because we've we've kind of got it over the, at least the minimum threshold. Uh, I just think I might want to get that being repaired as well. Um, I'd love to take Goomba out again. I I think though that he's he's probably in need. Of, well, that, I mean that said, he is gonna he's one of the ones who's gonna. Hmm. <laughs> The one I definitely won't be taking out is Anson. Um, oh, we don't have two days. We can't. We can't do it because there's no days left. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's uh, let's do the conversation at base camp first, then. What do you miss most about home, Vincent? Saturday night hockey on the radio. I'm a Maple Leafs fan. Hockey? Is that like football? A little, except played on ice with sticks. It's hard to imagine that, but I'd like to see it. If we get through this, come to Toronto when the Ken and Dan are in town. I'll take you to Maple Leaf Gardens, and we'll watch an Anglo team get beaten hollow. Right, okay, well, that does mean, if we can't do tasks, that does mean we've at least got some faction money to spend. So we've got the Radicals up to Welcome seven now. Have they got anything good down here? Revolution. Ooh, that's quite a nice gun. I thought, I was thinking I probably would take Cassidy out. How's that compare to what he's using now? There's the shotgun. I wish you could see the mods. Uh, I mean, there's, I mean, there's very little, probably very little downside to this. Um, but I just want to know if he's already using uh, armor-piercing weapon. So let's quickly look at the loadout. He's using this at the moment, and that's yeah. I mean, that's a good gun. I probably don't need to spend to uh, make that any better. King's gun. Isn't bad. Who would I take? I mean, I want to take Cassidy. I want to take King. Maybe I'll take the original crew. But maybe maybe not Belanger because of that fatigue, well, that morale damage. Cassidy. I want to take Tremblay and Coomba. To be honest, and Johnson. Maybe we take out Cassidy, Tremblay, Johnson, Coomba. If there's any better SMGs, because their guns aren't great. Who 
else have we got in there? Bend the trees. What is it you need? French uniform. If they catch British or Americans in our colors, they will shoot you as a spy. Oh, it's a se semi-auto rifle. Is oh, it's telling me that's what Cassidy uses. Okay. Yeah. Nothing amazing there. I, I, I really would like a better SMG. Unless you were followed, of course. We could get this for um, Cassidy, maybe. American uniform. Wearing the wrong colors is a capital offense. They won't tolerate a spy. That's probably the best um, submachine gun in the game. What does it give us? One armor pit. Okay, so we mark against what Tremblay's using. More morale damage. More crit damage. Or crit chance, I should say. Spray accuracy. Quicker, re quicker reload. Armor pierce. Yeah. Okay. Basically going to be the last purchase of the game. See this one? This one does two armor pierce. And the morale damage is better on this one. Ah, I'll take the purple one. There we go. It's done. If anyone asks you where you got that. All right. Well, we won't do the last mission, obviously, in this episode, but let's have a, let's have a look at the uh, the group we're going to take out. So let's take Cassidy. Uh, we'll have to do his uh, armor again. The main question for me is between um, Belanger and Johnson. I do you like Johnson? I lean towards maybe taking the original crew. I do like Coomba a lot, though. Maybe take the original crew. Cassidy, King, Belanger, Tremblay. Could be a good way to finish it, couldn't it? Uh, so Cassidy... No skills available. Make sure he's using the best gun. Uh, he already is. Uh, so let's have a look at his appearance. We get a better shotgun, didn't we? No. I mean, he should be fairly well set up. He just came on the mission with us, so. But I guess other people were also using. Some of the armor pieces, weren't they, like this? Because he's got that. So we can give him the better one. Oh, we are taking Tremblay as well, though. Okay, now that's an, okay. Now that's a thought. Um, so why don't we keep... Keep that one on, then. Right, Belanger... It's been a while since he came out, so make sure we take the good gun. Actually, no, King's got that. Um, uh, don't really know. Tremblay's got that. <laughs> Fine. Uh, That's got better range. I'll take that. Okay, fine. The hat. He's the only Frenchman coming out, so we'll make sure he gets the best stuff. That's good.
Yeah, I think, I think this one's better. Take him out looking natty. Uh, it's going to be those, isn't it? Tremblay. Get the new gum. I give him the icon dagger as well. Do any of these guys get skill points? King does, actually. Yeah, maybe we should take this. It's an ambush, isn't it? It's blowing something up, so maybe we should take that. Grenades and thick bleeding. Yeah, that could be worthwhile. Um, forget where I was. Tremblay. Let's just have a look at your stuff. He's got the Tommy trousers. Ooh. damage and recovery. Maybe I'll take that. Okay, so that's it. We're going to go out with the original crew. Not looking too bad, apart from Belanger's uh, morale damage, but, you know, it's the last mission, so... If it gets broken again. It is what it is, I suppose. Um, Cassidy as well, but, yeah, it's fine. They'll be fine. I mean, he's, he's, he's still got 67, which actually is the best out of all of them anyway. Cool. All right. Well, I'll leave it there for now. When we come back next time, we'll be doing Vengeance, probably the final mission before D-Day. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be great. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this mission and the game so far. Um, any thoughts on D-Day, what we might expect there? I don't know. Um, but also, you know, if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could do that as well. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.